David, your thoughts on this season and how you grew as a player? Uh, you know what? I think we had a great season as a team and uh, individually uh, a lot of ups and downs, but I think for the most part uh, I was pretty happy with how my season went and my first year pro and looking forward to next year already. Do you think a season like this uh, helps you not just physically but mentally? Yeah, for sure. I think it's, as I said, there's some ups and downs and me not getting in as much in the playoffs kind of hit me with a little bit of adversity and I, I felt like I overcome that pretty pretty good and it would just bring me some firepower throughout the summer and throughout next year to be better. The highs of working with the Maple Leafs the, and, and then coming down to a situation, like you say, with the playoffs, uh, uh, dealing with that, difficult? Yeah, I think as a young player, it's you're not really used to it and coming from junior, you're playing all the time and then obviously we have a really good team here and a lot of depth and I know Spotter's just trying to uh, fulfill the best lineup he could, and I'm sure he wanted everyone to play, but uh, it's hard when it's a seven-game series and every game is pretty tight. What does David Broll do to become one of those players that becomes the everyday player? Yeah, I just think every day got to be consistent, and a uh, big part of uh, me in the summer, just keep working on my game and foot speed and everything. So uh, I just got to come into training camp next year with a fresh mind and take everything I've learned from all the leaders this year and use that towards next year. You got your first taste of the NHL this year. Was it what you expected it to be? Yeah, it was awesome. You know, it's a, it's a dream come true. I uh, couldn't be happier to get that experience this year. And obviously, you get a taste of it, and you want, obviously, more of it. Um, it's a, it was a great experience for myself, and I, I enjoyed it. I appreciated it. What do you have to do over the summer to try to get yourself back there? Uh, as I said earlier, consistency. And, you know, they have only a certain amount of guys that they want up there next year, and you know what? If you're not on the radar, you better get on the radar pretty quick, or they're going to forget about you. So, you know, I think it's going to be a good push for a lot of guys this summer, and uh, it should be interesting next year. Dave, you played against Steve Spot while, during your time with uh, the Greyhounds in the OHL. What's the, what was his first year as uh, head coach of this team like for you? You know what? He came in. Uh, he was just he just from, from day one. He was he was talking to the guys a lot more. I'm not sure how other head coaches do it, but he was kind of interacting and approaching guys a little different. It was good to see, and you know, I think the guys bought in pretty quickly. Um, you know, there's a lot of pressure on him, too, and uh, it's not easy coaching in a market like this, and I think him, Gord, and uh, Derek all did a great job this year, and you could see our team progress and, and how bad we wanted to win, and I'm sure it still stings in uh, a lot of guys' hearts right now. The, the uh Honesty that uh, this coaching staff brings uh, can sometimes be brutal, but uh, is it appreciated? Yeah, it's definitely appreciated, but at the time you're, you don't really want to hear it. But uh, as, I, as I said, that's that's going to bring the best out of a player if a coach is honest with you. If he if he's lying to you, then you know well, you're not going to get the, the full effect of it. But they've been a they've been great this year and being honest. And sometimes it's harder than than others, but I'm sure every player appreciates that.